we don't have experimental data for this particular problem, so we won't be doing the validation part of verification and validation. We'll do three layers of checks for verification. The first layer is to perform you know, sanity checks that your results meet with expected trends. And Andy went over that in the video conversation with him. So we've done you know, a good bit of that. The second layer of checks is comparison to hand calculations. So we'll go through that and we'll focus on that part. And the third layer of verification that we can do is to do a mesh refinement. And in fact, what one can do is to chop up the model a little strategically and you can get a purely hex mesh that is of high quality. It turns out you have to go to a much more refined mesh, around 88,000 nodes, before you can get that uh, hex mesh to converge. Which, um, and that would not be under, you know, that would be over the limit, uh, the node limit of the student version. So we won't do that uh, with the understanding that if you want to do this more thoroughly, that's something we would definitely want to do. So we'll focus on the second layer of checks, the comparison to the hand calculations.